Hello everyone, this is Airfink. Welcome to my workshop. And today I want to briefly show you a new project that I'm working on. This is the beginning steps of a new arcade build that I'm working on. This is just a test of what's going to be the inner workings of the machine, specifically the monitor. Most of the work has centered around this monitor. This is a 1986 vintage Proton 602M. This was sold in 1986 as a high-end component video monitor. Um, what that means is basically Proton mostly sold stereos. And the idea with a setup like this was you could build it like a hi-fi stereo. So you could get a monitor, you could get a stereo receiver, you could get a separate tuner, uh, video playback devices, things like that. And you would build, you know, a home video setup very similar to how you would build a a home hi-fi type of setup. And unfortunately for Proton, it didn't really work out that well. Um, as you probably imagine, these kinds of monitors didn't really catch on. They were very expensive and just not all that popular. But as it turns out... They are very good monitors. This Proton here has a very nice power supply that's got separate deflection and drive circuits. Um, very similar to what you'd find in a BVM, but obviously with the standard tubes that you could get in 1986. This is a 25-inch monitor, and I have modified it to add a 15 kilohertz RGB input at 5 volts from a JAMA, directly from a JAMA Edge. Here I have connected my consoleized Neo Geo MVS. This is an MV1C board. This is just used for testing at the moment. I have a different motherboard that will be used in the finished arcade build. That's this. This is an MV1 FZS. It needs some repairs. We'll do some videos about that. But that is the motherboard that's going to go into the finished arcade machine. I haven't got a whole lot else to say about it right now because they're still very early in the project. I've started to make designs for the finished cabinet, but nothing has started being constructed yet. I wanted to make sure that all of my hardware was going to work out the way I wanted it to before, <laughs> before I started building anything. So hopefully in the future I'll be able to share more videos about this project as it progresses and show off some of my interesting design ideas that I have. Right now the plan is to make something that resembles a sit-down Japanese arcade cabinet, also known as a candy cab. Mostly because I live in the Midwest and they're almost impossible to find here. Extremely expensive. And so this is a way for me to get that experience hopefully, with significantly reduced cost. I'm not going to talk about my budget in this video. Suffice to say, there isn't one. Um, I'm just going to try to do this as cheaply as possible with my broke budget that I have. And we'll just see how it turns out. Hopefully you all enjoy coming along with me as I work on this project. And I hope to see you soon in future updates. Bye.